The atmosphere was just electric. Have you ever thought of the possibility of a relationship between the pulpit and the pedal? What? A pulpit of a preacher and the pedal of a bike rider. There is letter B in the word bishop. And there is letter B in the word bike. But to think that a bishop joins a bike riders union is far from reality. Very far from reality with perhaps many bishops and church leaders, but not with Bishop George Nkuo, a respected religious figure who serves as the Bishop of Kumbu, a town in the northwest region of Cameroon. Some time ago, in the month of June, thus 2023, the union of bike riders from a village called Kai warmly received this bishop upon his arrival for a pastoral visit in Melof Kumbu, a reception which led to an unexpected encounter, the beginning of an unlikely story, a divine connection, a heartwarming affair between the pulpit and the pedal. Surprisingly, the bishop declared his love to become a member of this association of serious young men and some women. Some Christians, others not. This is Thursday, the 23rd of November 2023. And they are out to receive their cherished guest, Bishop George, coming to celebrate Mass with them. Unfortunately for them, an urgent pastoral need took the bishop out of the diocese. They expected a white car and behold a black one. They expected a bishop, but thus is a vicar general. Faces fall. With fallen faces, the vicar general and the vice chancellor are led in procession to Kai to celebrate mass on behalf of the bishop. What does the preacher have to say about this? And as of this, he said, the man in face will change. 
And then you come up for me to the brother then. I sit here then. I hear one of them to grumble. I don't really watch a vision of my father in a bar. <laughs> Lord, give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Pastoral letter to conquer the riders in Manfe. We cannot thank you enough for the work you do. We cannot thank you enough for the people you transport. We cannot thank you enough for the goods you transport. We cannot thank you enough for the risks you take. So when they meet up you on top bike, you are associated with a criminal even when you have not committed a crime. He's proud to beg, but he is not ashamed to steal. This man is ready to work. This man is proud to beg, but he is not ashamed to cheat. This man is lazy to work. This man is ashamed to beg, but he is not ashamed to cheat his master, to tell lies in order to get money. As we do the one, I will be able to get the money. I will be able to get the money. I will be able to get the money. I will be able to before you show me, see, there is a message they are giving us. With our small bikes, we can earn a living. With the energy we have, we can work to earn our own money. We are not lazy to work. We are not ashamed to beg, but we have the strength to work and earn what we need to support our families. His Lordship, George Paul, that God may bless him abundantly and grant him many more years. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For all the members of the Okada Union, that the Almighty God may help them to be well committed in church activities, especially those that are still cohabiting. Lord, in your mercy. It started with a sad note of the bishop's absence. See how it ends with a joyful note of their achievements. It was an opportunity for them to launch a fundraise to build a union house for their meetings, for their meetings and a sort of business center. Radio Evangelium Kumbu Online asked the Bishop of Kumbu the point about becoming a member of this union. And he said, and I quote, What really attracted me most was their solidarity and their discipline. They were determined to stay clear of the horrors of war and violence and to make a difference in their village. I was naturally excited and moved to be part of this union. This is the kind of initiative that I think can help keep young men from joining the fighters. I will accompany them and give them the spiritual and material support that I can so that other villages can imitate Kai. End of quotes. How this union became in existence and why. In 2016, when the doors of hope were slung before some of us, who we are in school because of the present socio-political crisis. We felt the need to come together in order to share our difficulties. Nine members, as they were, by them gave the name Sumo. Many helped me as an objective to eliminate poverty and idleness. We set ourselves to work in people's farm, more block, and any other thing we could do to get money for ourselves and the group. This money was intended to help us buy an Okada for each member. Today, 40 members have been registered 
and 15 have succeeded to get an Okada through the union. How grateful we are to you, my Lord, for assisting us with finance to facilitate the creation of an account for the union. Well, Lord, and I will take all the enjoyment and make sure that I am for it. And I will make sure so when Bishop come, he will enjoy like say even day present for here. enthusiastic and energetic young men and women who have decided to see much in life and to make an effort to make their life beautiful and happy and they have worked hard to realize their dreams and I also thank God that we have a bishop who is a father who has actually given them a push to ensure that their dreams are realized. And I remain very grateful to, to him. And being a witness of this occasion, I thank God and I certainly will expect other young people to follow suit. And so that we'll have a community of vibrant and creative young people who will make us change the lifestyle and of course of great the way we behave in mind and in heart. And certainly we are going to achieve much with this kind of behavior. And an idle man, of course, easily can falter, easily can become a criminal. Being a member in this Okada Union has helped me a lot, especially in this our region that has been hit by the crisis now i've been I've, i can say i've been like i do all the time but joining this okada group it has helped me a lot and i am not more idle i now do something and i hope it's for the better it's for my future and to be very sincere the okada union is a very it's a very resourceful group that has helped so many of us, especially those that drop out from their school due to the crisis. And we have been trying so hard to help ourselves survive by means of riding Okada before the light of God shine on us through the bishop. He has been very helpful to us very, very much in such a way that we cannot even thank him a lot that is all i have to say i want to say he should take the good work ahead and may god uh, give him the grace to do more.